So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and today's question is that we have given a linked list and we need to sort it. The linked list consists of the only three elements that is 0, 1 and 2. So before starting the question ahead, if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates. Okay, so let us read the question again. So we have been given a linked list of n nodes where nodes contains the value 0, 1 and 2 only. The task to generate 0, 1 and 2's linked list says that all zeros segregate to the head, 2 at the end and 1 in the middle of 0 and 2. So looking at this question, didn't you feel like that we have already covered this particular sort of question in past? Yes, you are right. So if that particular question was given in an array, then definitely we can solve it by using a Dutch national flag algorithm where we maintain three pointers, right? The first pointer at the head, the second pointer also at the head and the third pointer at the last, right? And we keep on iterating from both the sides. But since it's a linked list, we, we can eventually place the pointer at the end, but we cannot traverse it back, right? But if it have been a doubly linked list, then we can think of doing that sort of thing. But uh, here, since, it, since it's a singly linked list, we cannot apply that algorithm here and it is not an array as well, right? So one thing could be that you put all the elements in the array, right? Then apply that Dutch national flag algorithm and then again copy all the elements of the array into this linked list. But that would be using an O of an auxiliary space and O of an time complexity. Can we do something better than that? So one was the Dutch national flag algorithm also you can sort it putting it and put copy all the elements in there and sort it so it would be n log n and the space as n. So can we do something better than that? Yes we can. So the what we can do here is that so these are the inputs inputs and outputs given, are given just for your reference. So these are some uh, random values arranged for the three elements 0, 1 and 2 and you need to uh, return the sorted order. Correct, and that should itself represent a linked list. And in the return type, it should return the head. And rest, the printing would happen will be taken care by the inbuilt code. Correct. Okay, so why not just make three variables, or let's make a array of size three with the indexes zero, one, and two, right? And this this particular value will store the count of the zero which we have encountered in the linked list. Similarly, one and two. Correct. So let's talk about this thing. Let's talk about the second case. So what's the frequency of zero that is occurring in this list? It, it is just once. Frequency of one, that is two. Frequency of two, that's also two. So filling this array would give you an O of n time complexity. That is, you will iterate with each and every node in the linked list and you will update this array, right? The next thing that you can do is that you can again iterate, iterate in given linked list right and what you will do that first you will update the initial values with the count of this particular zero once and you will keep on decreasing the count once you have replaced zero one times then what you will do you will replace one two times and then you will replace two two times correct so that would be it so this will take an o of n and this will again take o of n so uh, overall time complexity would be o of two and if you ignore the constant you can write it as O of n. What would be the uh, space complexity? Since we are using an count array, or let's say three variables, three uh, space to store the frequency of 0, 1, and 2, so it would be O of 3, or you can just say O of 1. Correct? Please pause this video and try to code this approach in your code editor, and you will be good to go. Okay, so that's the code in Java. Let me give you a code walkthrough. So, first of all, as we discussed, that we made a count array of size 3. We can also, we could have also made three variables as well, but that is like more uh, friendly to write the code if you made an array. I will show you. Okay, so we had a for loop that we are iterating for each and every node in our linked list. And if it is the data is equal to zero, then we are increasing the frequency at index zero. And similarly for one and two. Now again, we are appointing the current to head. We are resetting the current pointer to the starting of the linked list. We have the index zero. Now this is used to actually replace how many number of times we need to replace 0, 1 and 2 in your original linked list. So we are iterating again in the linked list while uh, using this condition while current not equals to null. And we are checking that if first of all you need to place 0, right? So how many times? So, so that is why index is here is 0. So agar uska frequency, if the frequency of that particular index that you are placing, it goes to 0, then definitely you need to shift to the another one, right? So what I am saying is that if you have, if you have successfully placed all the zeros right then definitely count of 
count of this index would give you a zero because if we whenever we'll use instances you will do a minus minus as well so in that case you will do index plus plus right so that's what is happening here so again and if that count of count of index is not equal to zero, that means the instances are still remaining you replace that particular data with the actual index that is a zero one and two respectively and then you decrease the frequency and move ahead in the right hand direction in our link list and at last we will just return the head and that's it let us compile and run for some test cases and we will get to go mm, so as you can see the compilation has been passed successfully let us do a quick dry run for one particular example and then we will uh, close this problem so that's the count array my second test case clear the count array will look like this then we are just uh, we have this pointer current here right and we will see an index is nothing but equals to zero right so I will, i'm just checking if count of zero is equals equals to zero it is not right it is equals to one so what will i do i will check again that if count of zero is not equals to zero then what i will do i will replace it i will replace my current with one right and i will decrease this to zero right now since this is zero my index will move to this one correct and now there are two instances so again i will replace it with uh, uh, one with one and this would be zero right one 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 so we have used all the two pro instances so it will be again converted to zero and since this is pointing to zero our index will be then updated to the next uh, index the right hand side or you have two key uh, like we have again the instance of two twice right so we will again replace it with two and then two and then it goes to zero and that's it we have completely traversed our link list and we have got an answer as well okay let us hit the submit button and with the c plus code we will see the c plus plus code and then we'll end this video so great all the test cases have been passed successfully let us see the c plus plus code now okay that's the c plus plus code it's the same code written in the java as well so let me just scroll it down for you so you can see let us hit the compile and run button and then we'll see and then we will submit it okay so compilation has been passed successfully let us submit this code as well so great yeah this question has been done successfully let us meet in the tomorrow's next question of the linked list playlist till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys